Hi, good evening. It's great to be here. Um, I actually work at Somerset House just around the corner. I've always looked at this boat and I thought inside we'd have a bit of sort of a, a rave scene going on, but actually I feel like I'm at my best friend's wedding reception. <laughs> so I'm delighted to see that. So um, thanks, Gus, for inviting me tonight. Um, and I'm glad that I did answer your email, finally. <laughs> I think it was LinkedIn. Um, so today I'm talking, going to talk about how the right digital solution can significantly um, decrease the engagement issues of today's workplace. Obviously engagement in the workplace is enormously important. Um, but first just to introduce myself, so I, I work for the Hotspots Movement, the Future of Work Consortium, founded by Professor Linda Grattan of the London Business School. Linda is, and I'm sorry you don't have her here tonight, you've just got me, um, but Linda is a leading expert in organisational behaviour and she's a world-renowned speaker on the future of work. Um, so what we do at the Hotspots Movement is we, we apply cutting edge uh, multidisciplinary research to support uh, companies to understand how their people's strategies and practices can be adapted to future proof for tomorrow. So these are some of the organizations we work with. It's very, very broad range. As you can see, we've got Shell, Rico, Marks and Spencer, MasterCard, Barclay Card, and we have even managed to get both PepsiCo and Coca-Cola on our books, which is quite a mean feat to have achieved. We're quite pleased about that. Um, so before I start talking about the digital solutions and how that can really overcome some of these engagement issues, I am just going to set the scene a little bit for, for engagement in today's workplace um, and eventually we'll move on to how digital solutions really can and should be used to solve uh, major challenges, global challenges in today's um, work situation. So why am I still talking about engagement? It's not a new concept. It's been around for about 30, 40 years. We all know that engagement is massively important. Uh, I mean, companies spend millions and millions of dollars and pounds every single year to, to sort out their engagement. Well, the reason I'm talking about it is Gallup. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of Gallup, the, the leading employee engagement survey company. They tell us that just 13% of our workforce is engaged. That's seriously bad news for businesses and for, for, for leaders. I mean, and then that leaves us with 63% not engaged and 24% that are actively disengaged. And what do we mean by actively disengaged? This means that you've got people who, um, who are actively undermining the performance of people who are performing in the workplace. So that means you've got one step forwards, two steps back, complete nightmare. So, um, just to look a little bit at, at where we've been and where we're going to go for. Um, any of you guys who study business will be aware of the, um, the theory of job characteristics that came up in 1976 from Holman and Alden. And basically they had five main um, elements that you need to drive engagement. And that's skill variety, task identity, is there a beginning, a middle and an end? Does the person understand when they've completed the task? Task significance, does this have importance? Will it actually contribute to the work of the company? Um, autonomy, everyone likes to be self-directed. And feedback, we're all humans, we just want to know how we're doing. And the idea was that this, uh, with these five factors, you had engagement and that would drive up performance. At the Hotspots Movement, we've decided they missed out on two crucial elements, and that is authenticity. So that is whether the values of the person are aligned with the values of the company. So you've got an environmentalist, and they're working for a big oil company, and there's an oil spill. There's going to be a real disconnect there. And the next thing is well-being, and that's how much you can bring your real self from your personal life and bring it into the workplace and still be stimulated and still feel like there's a continuation of the two there. But we're still assuming that engagement, high engagement, does mean high performance in the workplace. Are we so sure about that? Well, according to Gallup, the employee engagement survey that I was mentioning earlier, and this is the world's leading employee engagement survey, that's absolutely correct. They've got quantitative data here plotted on a two by two. And so when you have low engagement on the y-axis, you've got low performance on the x-axis, and, and high engagement is high performance. But Leadership IQ, and this is qualitative data, so this is a company, a research organization that's gone and actually discussed this with people and had conversations, because when we're talking about employee engagement, we're talking about human beings. And with qualitative data, the results are very different. So you actually have people who are very highly engaged, 
but are really not performing. And then you have other people who are extremely high performers, but they're not really engaging. And that sounds mad, doesn't it? I mean, obviously, surely someone who's engaged, who's there and really working really hard, must be performing highly. Well, unfortunately, that actually isn't the case. We all have colleagues who are there every day, really involved. You look a bit closer, and they're just a bit of a hamster on a wheel, and they're not actually producing anything. We also have, we all have um, employ colleagues who are really one of the experts within the company. They're really well respected. They're not very engaged. They're a little bit bored. They're looking over the fence. If a new opportunity comes along, they're just going to jump. And unfortunately, those are high-risk employees, and that's the last thing you want as an employer, to have these really high-performing, high-risk employees. So... We were looking at Gallup's Q12, um, so that's the Employee Engagement Survey I was talking about earlier, and they really are asking fundamental questions. These are really important ones, things like, my supervisor seems to care about me as a person. This is an emotional, personal question. And the problem is, people take the survey and then they head out to lunch, or they go down the pub with their colleagues and they talk about the survey, and they talk about how it made them feel, um, whether the questions were decent questions or not, the questions that weren't asked, and then also the questions that they're being asked year in, year out, and bear zero relevance on their organisation and their work. And unfortunately, all that crucial data is lost. So, at the Hotspots Movement, we've developed an interactive digital platform to have online facilitated conversations. Now, this is a jam platform, and it is a global 72-hour conversation that can take up to 10,000 employees of a, of a global organisation and they can problem, challenge solve over a very specific issue. And so um, this platform captures all the information that would have happened down at, over the, a pint down at the pub and we facilitate the conversation so we have a team of 30 facilitators worldwide who are pushing the conversation forwards and it's, it's a bit like an online event and Gus was saying to me he's got his first online conference coming up and it's exactly that and we have three stages so you have the, the sort of discussing the, discussing the main issues and then mining down into the information and then the third day will be really wor working how you can action those problems so you've come to a solution in seven hours. So just to run you through a case study, PwC came to us, um, obviously a very well-known company, has really, really prestigious grad, grad schemes. And um, what they couldn't understand is they had this really amazing talent that they'd attracted. And then they were leaving after two years. They got the training and they left. And this is a complete disaster for a company like PwC. So they were doing the biggest ever survey of millennials working out what the problem was. And their assumption was that the ma management issues were undermining engagement. And that's why people were leaving. And then on the side of this uh, big survey that they were doing, they came to us and said, oh, we've heard about your jam platform, can we, can we run a jam? And uh, so they ran a jam for 72 hours with all their millennials. And the real two issues came up. And these were questions they hadn't asked in the survey, so they were never get, ever going to get the answers through purely asking questions. And the real issue was the lack of global opportunities, that is, the lack of opportunity as someone who started up in Manchester with PwC to go to Singapore, or the lack of opportunities to go to Singapore, to speak with someone from Singapore and understand what it's like for them to be in PwC in Singapore. And the other option was well, the problem was well-being. These millennials wanted to work out, get down to the gym. They wanted to focus on that side of their lives as well. And PwC just wasn't leaving any space for them to do that. So after they'd done the jam and they'd realized what the real issues were, they were able to um, start to look at their millennial strategy and incorporate this to improve attention in their business. So really to conclude, what, what I'm saying here is that when you're discussing employee engagement, which is people, and uh, it's important to remember that quantitative data is interesting, but it's not the full story. To fully understand people and, and the, the engagement in any company, we need to start utilizing this technology that we use in our, our social lives. Facebook's been around for ages, sure. We need to use this in, in our workspace. And with this conversation that's many to many, that means that leadership's no longer just about prescribing, it's about just mobilizing the idea. The idea while you're having the jam, whilst you're working out what the issue is, you're also driving consensus towards the right solution. So this many-to-many -many, uh, conversation means that you can really gain insight on what's engaging people and motivating them to perform highly. <laughs>